see, man. Some of their plants are ill-rooted already. The least wind in the world will blow them down. Lepidus is high colored. <laughs> they have made him drink arms to As they pinch one another by the disposition, he cries out, No more! Reconciles them to his entreaty and himself to the drink. But it raises the greater war between himself and his discretion. Why, as it is to have a name in great men's fellowship, I had as leave have it. Reed that could not serve me, as a partisan I could not heed. To be called into a huge spear, and not to be seen to move it, are the holes where I should be, which pitifully disaster the cheeks. Thus do they, sir, they take the flow of the Nile by certain scales in the pyramid. They know by the height, the lowness, or the mean, whether dearth or poison follow. Now the higher Nilus swells, the more it promises. As it ebbs, the seedsman upon the slime and ooze scatters his grain and shortly comes to harvest. <laughs> you have strange serpents there. Hi, Lepidus. The serpent of Egypt is bred now of your mud out of the operation of your son. So is your crocodile. They are so. Sit. And some wine. A health to Lepidus. Yes! I'm not so well as I should be, but I'll ne'er out. No, not till you have slept. I fear me you'll be in till then. <laughs> Nay, certainly. I have heard the Ptolemy's pyramids are very goodly things. Without <laughs> contradiction, I have heard that. Bombay, a word. Oh, 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 Say in mine ear, what is it? Forsake thy seed, I do beseech thee, Captain, and hear me speak a word. Oh, forbear me till anon. This wine for Lepidus! 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 What manner of thing is your crocodile? Well, it is shaped, sir, like itself, and it's as broad as it hath bread. It's just so high as it is, and it moves on its own organs. <laughs> it lives by that which nourisheth it and the elements once out of it. It transmigrates. <laughs> what color is it? <laughs> of its own color too, sir. It is a strange serpent. <laughs> it is so, Lepidus, and the tears of it are <laughs> wet! <laughs> Will this description satisfy him? <laughs> Go hang, sir. Hang! Tell me of that. Away! Do as I bid you. Where's this cup I called for? If for the sake of merit thou wilt hear me, Captain, rise from thy stool. I think thou art mad. The matter. I have ever held my cap off to thy fortune. Thou hast served me with much faith. What's else to say? Be jolly, lords. Ah. <laughs> These quicksands, Lepidus, keep off them for your sink. Oh. Wilt thou be lord of all the world? What sayest thou? Wilt thou be lord of the whole world? That's twice. How should that be? But entertain it. And though thou think me poor, I am the man who will give thee all the world. <laughs> Hast thou drunk well? No, Pompey. I have kept me from the cup. Thou art, if thou darest be, the earthly Jove. Whate'er the ocean pales or sky in clips is thine, if thou wilt have it. Show me which way. These three world sharers, these competitors, are in thy vessel. Let me cut the cable, and when we are put off, fall to their throats. All there is thine. Ah, this thou shouldst have done and not have spoke on. In me, tis villainy. In thee, it had been good service. Thou must know, tis not my profit that does lead mine honor. Mine honor, it. Repent that ere thy tongue had so betrayed thine act. Being done unknown, I should have found it afterwards well done. But must condemn it now. Desist in drink. For this, I'll never follow thy fortunes more. Who seeks and will not take when once tis offered, shall never find it more. This health 
to Lepidus. Very much so. I'll pledge it for him, Pompey. Oh, here's to thee, Minos. In a barber's welcome. <laughs> Fill till the cup be hid. There goes a strong fellow, Minos. Why? Why, he bears the third part of the world, man, seest not? The third part, then, is drunk. <laughs> Would it were all that it might go on wheels. Ooh, drink thou. <clears throat> Increase the reel. Um. <laughs> <laughs> this is not yet an Alexandrian feast. It ripens towards it. Strike the vessels ho. Here's to... Caesar! Caesar! I could well forbear it. It's monstrous labor when I wash my brain and it grows foul. Oh, be a child of the time. Possess it. I'll make answer. Oh. four days and drink so much in one. <laughs> <laughs> My brave emperor! Ah, shall we dance now? The Egyptian bacchanals and celebrate our drink. <laughs> Let's have it, good soldier. Let's all take hands. Till the conquering wine hath steeped our sense in soft and delicate leafy. Come! <laughs> all take hands. Make battery to our ears with the loud music. Ah, the wild, I'll place you. Then the boy shall sing. The holding every man shall bear as loud as his strong sides can volley. Oh, come thou, monarch of the vine. Long be back us with King Ein. In thy vats, a hair be crowned. With thy grains, a hair's be crowned. Let me request you off. Our grave of business frowns at this levity. Gentle lords, let's part. You see, we have burnt our cheeks. Strong Eno barbs, weaker than the wine, and mine own tongue splits what it speaks. The wild guys hath almost antic us all. Good night, what needs more words? Good Antony, your hand. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try you on the shore. And shall, sir, give us your hand. Oh, Anthony, you have my father's house. But what? We are friends. Come, down to the boat. Uh, Minus. I'll not on shore. No, to my cabin. These drums, these trumpets and flutes, what? Let Neptune hear we bid a loud farewell to these great fellows. Sound and be hanged. Sound out! Noble captain. Ah, well, 